Yeah. Back to Dave Edmonds, and it's really great to have him with us in Cardiff again. This is another track taken from his new album. It's called Down, Down, Down. other people. You talked about the Everleys smoking and drinking, as they're known in the business, smoking Everly and drinking Everly. Have you heard that one before? No. Keep that one. Take that one away with okay. you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the Stray Cats. Yeah. Is, is that something that just happens by accident? What? Being asked to produce them? Do you, do you fall into that or is that something you wanted to do? I, I wanted to do the Stray Cats. In fact, uh, I, I don't know what I'd done if someone else had got the job because I just knew that was for me, that That's, one. I yeah. thought I knew how to record them in a way to make them sound Rockabilly's funny stuff. If you just, if you put all these amazing gadgets and effects on it, it's inappropriate. And if you don't, it sounds like a demo. So somewhere in the middle, you've got to get it so it sounds really good. And it's just echoes. You use delays and, and reverbs for that. You know? And that, that's, and, uh, I mean, that, that again, uh, enormous hits all around the world with, with those. Oh, yeah. And the Everly Brothers, that, well, as you said, that's a highlight. Yeah. Do, do you produce people these days, or are you not? If I've, uh, I don't want to, I don't sort of put myself, advertise myself as a producer for... You can't for anyone. come through the door. I, don't just, <laughs> I did K.D. Lang, which actually I turned down, first of all, because I didn't, and then they asked me again, because I knew the president of the uh, record company he said, come on, she really wants you to do it. And so I did that, but um, that was okay. That turned out well, but uh, it was something I had to be pushed into that. Usually it's just something if I really fancy it. Um, so I'm sort of part-time producer. Fast. Have you, uh, is that, you, I mean, I'm just, just looking no, no, at you, no, you're picking the stuff, and it's just like, <laughs> it's like more notes in the Bank of England, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. Uh, I, use all your fingers, don't you, when you're doing those sort of style things? Yeah. Uh, do you, what, what do you, this thing comes in this. handy. What's this called? A thumb pick. So it's just a thumb pick. Or the claw, as Jerry Reed calls it. Yeah, I like this, Chet Atkins style, which and is a very difficult style to play. But it sounds very easy, yeah. which is a bit of a drag, really, because no, <laughs> no one gives a damn. So you, know? you really are showing off now. When you do this, you know. <laughs> sort of thing, which I play for hours. I can just drive myself mad doing this for, for all day, you know. You, you still have to practice, do you? Yeah, this stuff, just keep it up, you know. It's the, well, Scotty Moore did this on the original Elvis record, see? This is how it was done. It's like a... So it's just country Yeah, on the, rock, Elvis's first stuff, all that, that's all right, Mama, you know, and... Uh, that's all it. <laughs> that's sort of fantastic. And you just, you it's easier to do on electric guitar than acoustic. And actually. you pick that up just by ear, do you? You, don't yeah. go to, you can't go to a teacher and learn that, can you? Um, I don't know any. I don't know many people who do except me and Mickey G. Actually, <laughs> Mickey's a, an exponent of this style. Cardiff, did you ever think this could possibly happen? That you'd get to play with oh, Carl Perkins? That you'd you play with? I have to pinch myself. Sometimes. Yeah. I mean Chuck Berry, and, and and again, I've talked to Terry Williams about this from Swansea. He calls it what the racker racker. 
The Ragarack, yeah. The, uh, uh, can I just check how you do that as well? Because this is a Chuck Berry <clears throat> thing that you... I got it from Chuck, who did it on a few records. And it's, it's a way of doing a, a rhythm and a beat while you're singing, which normally, if you would do it the normal way, would be... But yeah. the Ragarack, with a certain little bit of uh, manipulation, comes out something like... That's Dave Edmonds, that is, isn't it? <laughs> sort of thing. And Chuck plays just like that, does he? Well, I've heard, I, don't, I don't know. I've played with him live, and I, I didn't notice him doing it then, but there's a couple of records he does it on. Johnny Be Good, you know. Yeah. There's no other way you can do it. No. You can't go... <laughs> that doesn't work. You, know? you get cramped. Yeah. <laughs> but this is much easier. You can just... Once you get... You can keep it up forever. Yeah. At any speed. And the thing about the music is, it just makes you want to dance, doesn't it? Yeah. This is this is dancing music all night. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't dance myself, but uh, <laughs> you too busy <laughs> playing. To do, yeah. Well, it's great to have you back, and I, I know home's America now, but um, for a bit, I'd like to be back soon. I like to think I won't be away from Wales forever. It's been lovely having you with us, Dave. Well, thank you very much. Thanks very much. <laughs>